constructing a square wave from sine wave. So you would have met this in a Fourier series and you also would have met another term like Gibbs effect. So it's really just an excuse to do some plotting and to do some harmonics. But just to note here that we're doing 0 to 10 rads in steps of 0 0.01 of a rad. So we get the sine of t and we plot it and put the title of the x label to y label. So let's just have a look at that. So there's the first harmonic, and that's okay. now t and sine 3t over t. And you know, the next will be 5t over 5, 7t over 7, etc. Let's look at that. And we can see there that there's some well, vague shape of a square wave. Look very square to me. Then, still doing it by hand, we do the 3rd, 5th, 7th and ninth harmonic. And we put on the x label to y label, etc. And definitely look up here, uh, and we're going in one to twenty nine in steps of two. So we want the, the first, the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth, the eleventh, twenty seven, twenty nine, uh, and we get x here by incrementing x by each relevant harmonic and we get there and we can still see around the, the discontinuities we can still see some gibbs effect so two and you just to note i put that in the title of the graph we still have a uh, discontinuities ringing around the discontinuities so we still have that gibbs effect there okay so that's quite simple but i repeated it but this time we only went in steps of 0.1 remember so remember the sampling would be a uh, one tenth of what it was in the other one, we're going 0 0.1.2 in the other one. Five. So that graph looks the same. That graph looks the same. That graph, yeah. There, well, funny is going on here. Just go back to here. Oh, one. That's in the point one, and you can imagine in the 59s, there's the 59 in the step of point one. So you can see here that because we're using very high harmonics, our step size in this case should be point oh one, and one might argue that it might even be smaller than 0.01. So 